Hello Aries, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so far so good, Aries. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates when you're reading for today. Let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me, and that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Aries currently view this relationship? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. Then we also have the Five of Pentacles, and then we have the Strength card. Very nice, Aries. Very nice. How does this person currently view this relationship? Hmm. We got the Eight of Pentacles for them. We have the Three of Swords for them. And then we also have the Three of Wands for them. Wow. All right, Aries. Let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to them. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles, so the Five of Pentacles, and the Strength card being out here, this is kind of telling me, Aries, that you are removing yourself from someone here. Um, and I kind of feel like it's kind of stemming from a place of you basically feeling like this, this specific person is not necessarily serving your highest good whatsoever. So I do kind of feel like for the most part, you are removing yourself from this person to the right of me in particular. Now, it is a very difficult thing for you to do, especially because you are showing up as the strength card, which is kind of telling me that it's not that easy for you to remove yourself from this person in particular, especially because of the simple fact that I feel like this is somebody that you do care for deeply but because this whole entire situation is not necessarily serving your highest good and you're not necessarily getting what it is that you need out of this relationship here between you and this person it is kind of pushing you to that point of basically wanting to remove yourself from this person now with that being said kind of feel like this decision that you're choosing to make, it is going to definitely hurt this person's feelings to say the least. I mean, this person showing up as a three of swords for crying out loud. The pain is definitely being felt on this person's end. I mean, I feel like this is somebody who does want to kind of figure out a way to honestly make things work out here between you and them. Um, and it kind of looks like currently at the moment they're trying to figure out a way to kind of make that happen here between you and them. The problem is, is that this person basically feels like you're completely done with them. So they're not entirely sure if they can be able to bring this relationship back together all over again. But that's what this person wants. I will say that. I don't feel like this is somebody who wants to lose you. But then again, I kind of feel like you're not basically getting what it is that you need out of this relationship. In fact, for a lot of you, you feel like this relationship does nothing more but take and take and take and take and take from you. Um, and I don't necessarily feel like you're a fan of that whatsoever, especially because you come off to me, Aries, as somebody who brings a whole lot to the table. So naturally, you're going to want somebody to match your energy and the fact that this person may have not been matching your energy or reciprocating that energy that you've been giving to them in return it is kind of causing you to kind of feel like you have no choice but to just kind of remove yourself from this person in particular but despite the fact that you might be making this decision Aries to remove yourself from this person this is somebody who's still going to try to bring this relationship back together and kind of work things out here between you and them. So we'll see how that all plays out. But let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump back over to them. How does Aries feel? Okay. We have the world. All right. We also have the Empress, and then we also have the Emperor. True pair situation here between you and this person. I kind of feel like for the most part, there is a little bit of wiggle room with you, Aries, because if things can change here between you and this person, I do see you taking this relationship with this person into consideration, but things have to change. Like things can't continue to remain as they are between you and this person, but it, because it is causing you to basically feel like you're not basically getting the same amount of time, energy, and effort that you're putting into this relationship in return. So with that being said, the only way that you would basically take this person back is if this person honestly changes their way 
stories and show you that they're really serious about you and this relationship with you. But most importantly, they have to match your energy. Like they have to, like that is a must to you anyways, Aries. This person has to be able to match your energy. The same amount of time and energy you put into this relationship is the same amount of energy and time you want this person to put into this relationship with you. That's the only way I honestly see you taking this person back is if they honestly change their ways. How does this person feel? We have judgment. We also have the knight of swords. And then we also have the king of wands. They are showing up as a king of wands, okay? Now, with all of that being said, the king of wands is the first king that comes out out of all of the kings. The uh, emperor is basically all of the four kings in one, which is kind of telling me that your expectations, right, when it comes down to this specific person that you're currently dealing with um, is very, very high. It is. It is very, very high. But then again, like I said, you're looking for somebody who can match your energy. And if they can't match your energy, then you'll just go off and find somebody who can match your energy. And it's just that simple for you guys. Um, and again, it is kind of stemming from a place of somebody who knows, you know, what they deserve and what they don't deserve. And you don't necessarily feel like, you know, you deserve the treatment that you've been receiving from this person within this dynamic that you share with this person. The fact that this person is showing up as a king of wands, as I mentioned, the king of wands is the first king that comes out. This is kind of telling me that there's a lot of work that they have to kind of put in to themselves to basically meet your expectations, okay? Um, now, with that being said, I kind of feel like, and I'm not going to take this away from this person. I feel like this person is trying to be the best person that they can um, to you and within this relationship that they share with you. I feel like they're really trying their best. I really, really do. Now, maybe that's not enough for you, Aries. Maybe that's not enough for you, dude. That's a possibility because you're looking for an emperor, but you're dealing with a king of wands, which is kind of telling me that this is somebody who has a whole lot of growing up to do, um, and there's a lot of work that this person is going to have to put within themselves to basically meet your expectations, right? Now, with that being said, I feel like this person's really trying. Like, I don't want to take that away from this person at all because I kind of see somebody who genuinely does want things to work out. This is not somebody who wants to lose you. This is somebody who is trying to be the best version of themselves. Now, it may not be to your standard, but they're trying to be the best version that they can be, you know, within this relationship that they share with you. You just don't feel like it's good enough for you. That's the thing. It's just not good enough. I want to look at this King of Wands, though. Tell me more about the King of Wands. You might make more money than this person. We have the Six of Swords. We also have the Page of Swords. And then we also have the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We do have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Queen of Cups. Interesting. With the Two of Wands. I feel like this person is a little bit concerned when it comes down to what the future has in store when it comes down to you and them. I kind of feel like this person's already at that verge of basically feeling like this relationship is coming to an end and there's not really much that they can honestly do about it. I mean, I see this person trying to, you know, make things work here between you and them, but there is like a possibility that they could very well be losing you for good. And that's not something that this person basically wants, right? Now, with all of that being said, Aries, I just kind of feel like this person is a little bit concerned. I will say that. Like, they are a little bit concerned. They're kind of coming in, like, in a panic. Like, that's the best way I can kind of describe this person's overall energy. They're kind of coming in in a panic. Because the thing is, is that, you know, they kind of feel like this relationship might just really be coming to an end here between you and them. And that's not something that this person wants, right? But then again, they can't really control what you decide to do and how you decide to move forward. You see what I'm saying? So I do see this person trying to win you back all over again. I just don't know 
if you're going to take this person back or if you're going to revisit this connection all over again because you want what you want and you refuse to settle for less. And because this person is not meeting your expectations in your mind, you basically feel like you're investing all this time and energy into somebody that's not even worth your time and energy. You see what I'm saying? But you're just somebody who again, knows what they want and you refuse to settle for less because you feel like you deserve nothing but the best. And this is a very true statement. So if this person cannot match you energetically speaking, then, well, you don't really have anything to really offer this person. It's just that simple. I mean, you guys are like the freaking bosses, you know, in the Zodiac sign. So I'm not shocked, you know, by how you're choosing to um, handle this whole entire situation because again you come off to me as somebody who brings a whole lot to the table but you're also that type of individual that doesn't mind to eat alone and if this person cannot match you energetically speaking well this person's kind of fucked out of luck excuse my French like they kind of are you know because you're not going to waste your time giving and giving and giving and giving and you're not basically reciprocate you're, this person's not even re reciprocating that energy back to your return and in your eyes well then that's just a waste of time why would I do that you know what I mean so this person definitely has their work cut out here for them I will say that especially when it comes down to you what actions will this person take we have the Five of Swords. We also have the Star. And then we got the Sun. Yep, yep, yep. What actions will this... I mean, what actions will Aries take towards this person moving forward? Please don't fall. Let me grab a card that fell. We have the Two of Cups. We also have the Four of Pentacles. And then we have the Chariot. Jeez. You know, the person that sits in the Chariot is the Emperor. All right, just wanted to throw that out there. When it comes down to how you plan on moving forward, it's just that simple. This person has to come correct. Um, and if they cannot come correct, they might as well just not come at all. Because again, I mean, we're dealing with a person that knows what they want. And that person is basically you. You're that type of individual that knows what you want. And you refuse to settle for less. If this person cannot match you energetically speaking, they might as well go off and entertain somebody else because you're just not the one to be messed with, Aries. You're not. Um, I kind of feel like moving forward, you know, your whole mindset is, well, if this person honestly wants to be with me, if this person really wants this relationship to work, they're going to have to meet me at my level. If they can't, I don't really have anything to really say to this person or really offer this person. And that's just as simple as it gets, Aries. You're not fucking around. Nor are you willing to waste your time on somebody who can't even match you energetically speaking. We have the sun. We also have the five of swords. And we have the star for them. The bottom of the deck, we have the five of cups. We also have the seven of swords. And then what do you know? We have the empress. And then we also have the nine of swords. Here we go with the nine of wands. Yep. With the ace of cups. Nine of Pentacles, and then we have the Two of Cups. This person is stressing over you. Stressing over you. Because like I said, if they cannot meet you, and like if this person cannot meet you on, you know, the same energetic uh, level that you're at, you don't really have anything to offer this person, right? So with that being said, I kind of feel like shit is getting real for this person. And I do feel like this person's really stressing over you. I do see this person coming in and fighting for what it is that they want. I do see that happening. I kind of feel like this is somebody who really does want to be with you. But then again, you know, the way that you're kind of looking at it, well, if this person wants to be with me, they know what they got to do. But as far as, you know, your concern, I don't really see you putting any sort of time, energy, and effort into this dynamic between you and this person. Because the last thing that you want to do is continue to invest time and energy into somebody who can't even reciprocate that same amount of energy right back to you in return. So therefore, you don't really have much to offer this person in particular. But I kind of feel like because this person sees how serious you are and how you're not fucking around, it is kind of causing this person to really stress over you and this whole entire situation with you because you are somebody that they really do want to be in a relationship with. And I do see this person fighting for this relationship moving forward because you are who they want, right? But, but, because there's a but to all of this, this person has to come correct. They have to. Like, there, there's no wiggle room with you, Aries. There's no wiggle room with you. This person has to come correct 
If not, they might as well not even come at all because I just don't even see you, you know, even willing to continue to sit here and waste your time on this specific person. I don't even see you wanting to do that. So if this person can come correct, <clears throat> if this person can basically meet you at the level that you're at, then maybe, 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 right? Maybe you'll give this person a chance. But outside of that, it just kind of looks like you don't really have much to um, offer this person. And it looks like continuing to invest time and energy into this is not something that you're willing to do. Um, I kind of feel like for the most part, you are willing to give this person a chance if, if, if they can honestly change their ways and, and show you that they're very, very serious about you. But outside of that, if they can't even do that, they might as well just go off and entertain somebody else who's willing to basically settle for less because, again, I mean, we're dealing with an Aries. Let's just throw that out there. You guys don't fuck around. You guys mean business. You know what it is that you want and you refuse to settle for less and that's just something that this person has to understand, okay? You're not here to play games. Um, you're not here to waste your time. So with that being said, this person just has to come correct or they might as well just not even come at all, to be completely honest. I like your energy, though. I like your energy, though, Aries. But I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. You guys are the bosses out of all of the zodiac signs. We have pay attention to the red flags. We also have reconciliation. And then we also have unrequited love. Again, you're not getting it. You're not getting what it is that you need out of this whole entire situation here between you and this person. And your overall advice is basically telling you that you're not doing the wrong thing by removing yourself from this person because you deserve a lot more than what you've been receiving from this person in particular. Like I said, you don't mind giving this relationship another go around, but it does you know, have to be to your standard. If this person cannot, you know, be on the same page as you or meet you, you know, on the same energetic level that you're at right now, this person, again, excuse my French, is kind of fucked out of luck because you know what you want. Because you know what you want. So, Aries, I see you're removing yourself from this person. I do. And I do see this person trying to come back around your way and make things work. I feel like this person's really trying their best, but their best is just not good enough for you because you know what you want and you have your standards and you refuse to settle for less. Um, but I do see this person really trying to, you know, fight for what it is that they want, which is you. And one thing that I will say is that, because you're removing yourself from this person in particular, oh boy, are they going through it. Oh my God. I mean, just look at it. This person has the nine of wands and the nine of swords. It's kind of telling me um, that this person has really been stressing over you and this whole entire situation here between you and them. With the five of cups being out here, this person's probably a little bit depressed, okay? Because they see that you're not fucking around. You mean business. You do, and you refuse to continue to waste your time on this entire relationship here between you and this person. But this could also basically represent somebody who's basically losing sleep over you as well. So yeah, this is somebody who's definitely stressing over you, that's for sure. Without a shadow of a doubt, there's no doubt in my mind that this person is not somewhere stressing over you. But it's all stemming from a place of them really wanting to be with you. But again... Either they come correct or they don't come at all. That's as simple as it gets on your end, Aries. And you're not fucking around. You're not going to budge. That's the thing. So this person definitely has their work cut out here for them. Especially if, you know, they want to jump back into a relationship. Especially with you all over again. Because again, if this person does not come correct, I don't even see you even bothering to waste your time on this person. I don't. Because to you... You know, if this person can't, you know, provide you with what it is that you're looking for, what it is that you need within a relationship, you'll just go off and find somebody who can. It's just that simple because there's many people in this world that can be able to provide you with exactly what it is that you deserve. And if they can't do it, then that's fine. They can't do it. I bet you somebody else will. And that's just how you're looking at this whole entire situation. I love Aries. Jesus. I love you guys. All right, so hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And well, good luck to this person to the right of me and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.